damn it. I don't know how to do this. Do I seriously not know how to open a wine bottle? Is this like a real situation that's going on right now? Yep, 100%. <laughs> Um, I'm in Cancun right now. I am speechless. In this moment in time, I am a part of my first brand trip ever in Mexico. I don't even know what to say right now. I am so stunned and so confused. This is something that like I've always wanted from one girl who grew up watching YouTubers and watching them go on brand trips like this to another. This is insane. And I am so mad that I can't open this fucking bottle of wine because I don't know how to open a bottle of wine. And I usually make all my guy friends back home do this for me. I'm stopping at nothing to legally drink for free in Mexico right now. Just kidding, I give up. Oh my God. First off, it is January 26th. I am officially in Cancun with fucking Sarah, who is literally gonna get here any minute now. And we're also with my friend Gabriella, who I knew from YouTube. She used to do YouTube a while ago. She stopped and now she's getting back into it and we're here with her too. And I am with this travel company. I'm gonna get into that in a second and show you guys my bad read. This is about to be one of the craziest experiences of my whole goddamn life. And I can't even think straight right now because I am just like, so like, why me? This is kind of hard to explain, but when you do YouTube and you're sitting in your room at your house all day long like editing you're never seeing like tangible success but sitting right here in a giant room by myself with all this fruit and drinks and cheese I love cheese fuck my skin this week baby we're gonna break out I don't care like this is just one of the craziest moments of my life I'm wondering the same thing you guys are <laughs> what the fuck did I do to deserve this look at this bathtub I never take baths and guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a goddamn bath cuz look at this bath I literally am so excited to take a bath and then hello all the pictures and all the content and everything that is literally about to happen I can't even get over it I don't even know what to say I'm being so annoying right now and I'm fully aware and I'm gonna stop I need to get ready right now I look disgusting I'm waiting on my luggage to come up to the room I need to do my makeup and then let's go get drunk and have fun legally legally how special is that I just wanted to say thank you to Luxevo Vacations and Azul Beach Resort for this amazing experience that I am so grateful to be a part of right now one of Luxevo Vacations travel specialists actually booked us literally everything including the flights, hotel, excursions, these insane dinners that I've been having while here. They literally took all the stress away of planning a vacation like this and just did it for us and sent us on this trip. With Luxevo Vacations, you can actually book any vacation you literally could ever dream of for the same price as booking it online yourself through a booking engine. It's good to know that everything is taken care of, you have nothing to worry about and that everything will be set in stone and that you're not missing anything or screwing anything up. You guys can use my link in the description to learn more about Luxevo Vacations and take a look at the amazing resort that I am at right now. Now. Who from Las Vegas is calling me? Hello? Yes. Never a dull moment, honestly. I cannot believe that just happened. Anyways, if you guys want to get the limited edition merch from this trip, actually, it literally says Impulsive Cancun Trip. How goddamn cute is that? You can also go to the link in my bio right now and buy this. Thank you to Azul Beach Resort and Luxevo Vacations once again. And now we are going to get into this video that I still can't believe is a thing. That has happened. Here we go. Hello, it's like an hour later now. I am all ready. I look like kind of decent. Sarah just got here. She just checked into her room and now it is time to go fucking see her and go do tequila tasting, bitch. Here we go. Someone just knocked on the door and I thought it was Sarah and it was a guy holding a tray of cupcakes. Wait, oh my God, they're like confetti too, I think. Oh my God, what a moment that was. Someone knocks on the door. I just think it's Sarah and it is a man in a suit holding a tray of cupcakes. That was incredible. <laughs> What's was happening? Like, Let here? me treat myself to a glass of wine. I'm in Mexico, and then I opened it all, and it just like exploded all over. The place. It's yeah. all over the place too. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Pee oh. Pee wee. Okay. Oh my god. I'll drink that. Was that. Crazy. that was fun. Yes. yes. I need to know what Is it, it good? Is or did you spill it on yourself? I win. That's not a straw. Oh my god. That's the mixer. <laughs> I was gonna do the same thing, so. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm drunk. <laughs> oh my god, I love Mexico. I literally got a strawberry mojito and it was the best thing I've ever had. Like, I wanna go back and get more now. Everything here is free and I honestly might get a steak, a grilled cheese, a quesadilla, right? I feel like we have to. This hotel is literally all, all exclusive. No, all exclusive. All exclusive. That too. We skipped the tequila tasting, by the way, everyone. 
Okay, I also don't like tequila, and like I just said to Sarah, last time I had tequila was during the vlog that... We don't remember anything from that night, do we? No, we don't. It was the Danny Gonzalez night in LA that me and Sarah went to, and I blacked out. We blacked out at a YouTuber show. We had seats in the very back, and then like right at the halfway line. We snuck up to the front. I was twerking. I remember you posting about this. I do remember. Caitlin texted the group chat today and was like, oh my god, I need a drink. And I thought we were doing the tequila tasting thing tonight. And once I read that, I have it on film. Insert footage now because I have it. Why am I about to throw up right now? I just got a text. I just got a text from Caitlin. There's a tequila tasting and the thought of drinking tequila. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Caitlin wants to <laughs> And I, I was gagging. I was gagging for five minutes straight thinking I was gonna puke. I just set my camera down in the bathroom and just like lean over the sink and just puke because I was just you know, imagining me taking one tequila shot and I couldn't. As much as I am in Mexico, I still don't like tequila, so there's not much we can do. And I also shouldn't be trusted with tequila, so. Not after the Danny Gonzalez show. Literally like the head chef and someone else just came over and delivered this. That is We are being treated way too much like royalty. As they brought that, they brought out our the margaritas. The margaritas. And then we, we spent a good five minutes complaining about tequila and then... Yeah, here, here we are. Damn. God, hello. Here I am in Cancun ready to start another fucking beautiful day. Look how gorgeous it is outside. Oh my God. I will never stop showing you guys this view because this is just insanity. They were literally just blasting Enrique outside. I was like, fuck, I should really get ready and get out of my room. But I just woke up like an hour and a half ago. Me and Sarah were up late drinking wine and talking about the Grammys and just arguing about them all night. Then this happened. She literally broke an entire wine glass and spilled it all over my room in the middle of a conversation. Oh my God, bitch. <laughs> No, we didn't go to sleep until one and then me and Gabriella just got up and got breakfast. That's her right now We're still waiting for Sarah to wake up, but y'all know Sarah this bitch does not wake up now We're gonna go take pictures right now because hello we have to post for the resort literally just did light makeup Gonna put the shades on go take pics and come back and probably change to something else hashtag work <laughs> All right guys, we're officially starting the day. I just ordered a blue Hawaiian. It's game over for me in about 20 minutes. Everyone else is fucked up in the pool right now. God. Y'all, some guy over here is literally playing This Love by Maroon 5 on this saxophone. He's going off, I love this. Here I am in the wild, just found two iguanas. This guy is really interested in me. This guy is not. I'm drinking a drink and I'm hanging out with my new buddies. What's up boys? Hope y'all are having a great day. We literally just found this beach cabana. This is amazing. And we're right on the beach. I also have margarita all over my face. How did that happen? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's 4.30 in the afternoon, dude. dude. Last night was so rough. <laughs> I apologize. Now that you're awake, it's time to party. Okay. Okay, hi. Um, This angle is definitely crooked, but I really don't care. I've also been drinking margaritas all day, so that makes me care even less. It's 7 o'clock right now. Me, Sarah, and Gabriella are actually about to go to one of the top five Latin American restaurants. It's a very fancy dinner, literally at the Azul Beach Resort, which is insane to me. And it literally has 14 courses, allegedly. So just hearing that out loud already makes me feel like I've gained 10 pounds on this trip. I got this dress from Revolve, and it is like the prettiest thing ever. We got like the little legs. Like going on, we got this flowy satin moment. I don't really go to places or do things where it's socially acceptable to wear like really long dresses often, so I'm really fucking thriving right now. Remember when I couldn't open my wine bottle yesterday? Yeah, so I was never able to. The bottle that we spilled all over the place was Sarah's bottle, so I honestly think I'm gonna call down for another one and also ask if someone could help me open it. Let's call for more wine right now because I'm sitting here and I'm bored and I'm literally bossing Michael Bublé and I'm getting sad and I want to get married like right now. Like this resort is pretty, like fuck it, I want to get married. Someone actually coming to help me open my other bottle of wine because I told them I just fucking need help I don't I like don't know why I can't open that wine Sarah and Gabriella couldn't either why do I destroy everything I touch is my real question fuck my life
Okay guys, we're at the really fancy restaurant now. We're feeling a bit uncomfortable because we are the youngest people in this restaurant. They just gave us wine. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh great, here we go. Oh wow, there it is. I just don't want to be this fancy. Oh, the stem. Oh, the stem? Because you get fingerprints on the glass? Oh, okay. Okay. apparently that's not Oh. Not that we would know. Not that we would know. She's very strong, but we're enjoying it. Shove their nose in the glass. <laughs> like, what are they trying to smell? I don't know. This is a margarita. Our waiter just came over and gave us all these mini tiny plates. It's so overwhelmed. Like, I'm the pickiest eater in the world. I'm gonna try all this, obviously. Uh, but this like, looks like a this is the most insane thing. <laughs> I'm trying to give an explanation. Sarah goes, this, this is like a dinosaur. This. I do not belong anywhere fancy. No, we need to go. So this to is the presentation for a salad. <laughs> it's a book. Do you know what's so funny too? I just saw on the side it said the Caesar salad. <laughs> and I was like, there's a whole ass Bible all about the Caesar salad. <laughs> That is so extra, but I love it. Should we all try the margaritas now? I am very curious to try this. We it's have something on our pants. It's so slippery. Do you have to peel it? It looks like chocolate. You didn't just break it. Bitch. You broke your margarita. <laughs> How do you break it? We're about to take a shot. <laughs> Why did I not expect the liquid? That was amazing, that was but I was not expecting that texture, and it kind of exploded. Okay, all. I just ate a margarita. Um, and many people, they know that it's like... This is literally the texture of a texture. Eat your bowl. Do it, you do it first. Wait, mm, it literally tastes just like soft. I just hate the texture in my hand. <laughs> Come on, do. you always have that texture in your hand. <laughs> I hate the texture of it. I hate it. What? Wait, this looks like you're at CVS buying like a pet hermit crab and like this is one of the decorations that comes in the tank. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that I was already so drunk I legitimately just said that I bought a hermit crab at CVS. The pharmacy? Okay, the pharmacy. Instead of PetSmart. I literally just said I bought a hermit crab at CVS. No one corrected me. No one stopped me. Everyone went along with it. I, d like, I just, how was, I just don't know. It's like a pile of hair. This is me when I brush my hair and everything <laughs> yeah. comes out. This is me pulling out all the hair in my drain. I like it. Really? It's the best one. Sarah, you're sure? I fuck with it. But... This goes out to everyone that is watching this video that wants to see me potentially suffer. I only eat microwaveable mac and cheese. So in the bloody box. Can we try the salad now? Sure. Let's open up the Bible. <laughs> Alright, I'm eating the little salad guy. The little salad guy. Is that what you just wait, said? Wait, wait, wait. Sarah? Is salad? Oh. <laughs> Oh, dude. I don't know how to eat this. It's like Harry's brain. Inside of his brain. While making fine lines. You look I'm confused. About me too, me too. Scatter brain. I'm just confused. I just have no idea what I just ate. But like I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad either. It's like baby food. I know. I think I hate it. <laughs> you look stressed. It tastes like onions. Actual like I took a bite out of it. Uh-huh. After I took a bite out of a cupcake. I'm so Video and like we're winning for some yes. reason. We're winning at this game. We have no talent. No. We're winning. I feel like I'm getting way too much attention and yeah. I don't like it. Yes. Look where your bags are. My Kmart bag? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, don't this is the bag you just brought in to like one of the top like five fanciest I, restaurants in Latin America. I don't <laughs> every meal, every meal. Remember that one time that you said that the only expensive thing you spend money on is like a nice purse. <laughs> I'm thinking I like think it's time. I think it's time, dude. <laughs> Please, I think I, it's time. Uh, <laughs> I really didn't think it was that bad until I sat down in this restaurant and looked at a hangover. Even better. It just keeps getting better. What? <laughs> it's like science class. What a cool party trick. What am I eating? What am I eating? I have to know right now. Can you explain it to us 
for 20 minutes and we're like <laughs> me zones out and thinks about like cows or something. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes. It's been two and a half hours. Two and we're, a half hours. We're out of there. We made it. That was a two and a half hour long no, dinner. No, we're grateful and we're no, being we are. Grass. Oh my god, I'm falling into the grass. I just wax. fall in the pool. <laughs> Dude, that's why I'm walking so close to the palm tree because I'm about to fall into the grass. Dude, they got us so drunk. They got us so drunk. Y'all, I'm like tripping on the cobblestone. We will find Freddie Mercury. Freddie! Oh, I hear people yelling. I hear people yelling. Good sign. Hey, Gabriella, you dropped it. Oh, okay. We missed it. We literally missed the queen cover band. Queen! Come on! Oh, we really miss that shit. All right, let's go. Guys, we're at the mojito lounge again right now. I just got a strawberry okay. mojito. I turned my phone off for the night because I was getting stressed. Everyone is packing in the mojito lounge right now, so I'm gonna drink this and, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't know if you'll see what happens, but I will. I was with Gabrielle, we were like talking for a second. I look over and you're already talking to some old cool lady and I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's been like three seconds. That lady was like, so what are you getting tonight? I was like, let me tell you. <laughs> We're back in our hotel room right now and we're trying to get like normal food just to end the night with and we have called room service allegedly like twice on this phone now and we keep getting directed to some random girl's room and every time we accidentally call her she's like come up like let's fucking hang out like we've been trying to call room service too and it keeps redirecting to someone else's room so now me and Sarah are about to go fucking party in this random ass girl's room and yeah. random ass bitch and her boyfriend <laughs> that are on vacation <laughs> because we can't get in touch with room service Get the fuck up, bitch. I know, I'm Gabriella. <laughs> hey, Gabriella, we're gonna be in room 4415. Oh, whose room is that? We you don't know. know. <laughs> we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you guys saw what should happened we earlier? Should drink the whole thing of champagne before a glass? No, we should bring some shit. Drink my mojito. No! No! Take my mojito! I'm bringing Goose <laughs> I'm terrified. Bring the champagne, baby. Got it. Yo. <laughs> I am confused. Okay. It's Tuesday now. It's 1.45. And I was up all night with food poisoning again. God damn it, guys. Finally get to her room, we knock on the door. This really short man opens the door and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I must be at the wrong room. And then it's a girl standing like farther into the hotel room and he's like, come on in. Before you know it, all of us are just hanging out on the balcony for like hours, telling each other like our life stories. This girl's mom had just gotten out of jail after 10 years. Like this is her first vacation. This is her first time meeting her daughter's husband. And she was telling me how her and her husband met. All this cute stuff. And literally we were just together all night. Me trying to get room service ended up in being one of like the coolest nights ever because you guys know I love stuff like this. I love meeting new people, especially on trips, you know, people that I'm probably never gonna see again. I love having moments like this with them. At like two in the morning, me and Sarah finally revisited, you know, the whole room service thing. We were really trying to get some food. For some reason, we were like, we really want burgers. Order two burgers. I realized I am just so drunk. I really need to go to bed. I don't really even remember eating the burger. I couldn't tell you what it looked like. I just remember eating fries, but I know I ate a burger. I come here, I get ready for bed. It's two in the morning, thinking I'm gonna have a nice sleep. Shot up at 5.30 in the morning, and before you know it, throwing up my entire intestines into the toilet. I am so sick right now, so I just went to the store and I just got this random medicine. I've been taking Tums all day. It hasn't really been helping. Now I got this powery. I just really hope right now when I take these that I'll feel better soon because I really wanna go out and play and have fun. Yep. That's how my day is right now. I have food poisoning yet again. I'm gonna turn myself into a girl now. We're also going to the club tonight, so I really need to get my shit together, so here I go. Guys, we're back at our cabana right now. We just took some pictures. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys some of them. They were actually so cute. Literally, our time here is flying by, but we're gonna have so much fun going off like hotel property, being risky tonight. Woo! Yes. We need a wild night out here, yeah, so. We do. Like win in Cancun. Yep. I'm starting to feel better, so that's good. Like my stomach cramps up every now and then, but we have a lovely beach attendant man coming over and bringing us some quesadillas. I've barely eaten today, so I'm wondering if that's why I'm still feeling kind of shitty, but trying to pull myself together before we go to the goddamn club. You got this. I know. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Wait, 
also, I did not feel this earlier, but I guess there was an earthquake here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you felt it, and I didn't. Like, I can't believe I missed out on that. I like, know, weren't what? you laying in bed also doing I the same thing as me? I was yeah. laying in bed editing my picture, just minding my own business, and then all of a sudden, like, I felt my body moving, but I'm like, is that just anxiety, or like, <laughs> am I shaking? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. But I was looking at all the items in the room, and nothing looked like it was moving. It was just, like, my body, and I was like, what the fuck? And it lasted for 45 seconds. I almost had a what? Oh my god, you guys, we all literally just woke up and got ready and ran out the door, and now we're all in a van being shuttled to the club. <laughs> right when I put my dress on, it breaks, so I had to improvise. And now we're all sober as hell. Hey, sober so with obvious. stomach cramps. Yep. Oh yeah, now Sarah's getting sick too. Yeah. Gabriella is allergic to gluten, so she's been sick the whole time. I've been sick my whole life. After about an hour, we finally got to Playa del Carmen, and we had some time to kill before the club started, so we wandered around until we found this fun little tequila bar, and somehow throughout the car ride, Sarah literally ended up with an ear infection. We don't even understand how this happened, but we literally had to stop at a CVS before going into the tequila bar, and look, she literally has eardrop medicine with her at the bar. I don't understand how this even happened. But as you can see, we were powering through it. They were drinking and then gagging, and then I started off with a light drink because I was still nervous about my stomach. We ended up with this tequila bottle with our faces on it. Then this bartender was doing some tricks and flips and making us drinks before it was time to go and let the chaos um, begin. Literally, they didn't even realize they just left me at the restaurant. I just got so lost. I thought you were like, yeah, I didn't know where you guys fucking went. My drunk friend was like, God damn, I just got I lost. Just right nope, I was very much long gone. Oh, here we go. Hey, you guys, I am not one to start drama or be like, oh my god, I'm sick. I have an ear injection, whatever. But this was the first time it was like unbearable. I don't know how I'm gonna like handle tonight. We went to a pharmacy, we got some ear drops. That didn't help at all. I am a party person. I like having fun. I like dancing. I like clubs. I like music. This shit in my ear was making it impossible for me to have a good time in those circumstances. So yes, I'm gonna take three Advil. I she is so drunk, don't listen to her. Wait, no. <laughs> I just have to approve these transactions really quick. Oh my God. fun and games until the literal fan placed directly below Sarah's skirt turned on and she flashed the entire club. I think it's safe to say we had a pretty decent time at Coco Bongo, and honestly, I miss this club every day of my life and needed to go back like yesterday. <laughs> know how to 
transition to this right now. <laughs> My voice is literally gone. Last time I remember anything, I was dancing on top of a bar. You know, I don't know why I'm about to ride a camel. <laughs> we're riding a camel this morning before we're eating food. <laughs> and there goes the eardrop. Okay. Here we go. I don't even know how to ride a horse. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't a camel. <laughs> Wait, they're like real. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am hungover, and we're all riding camels right now. <laughs> What her tattoo meant? Yeah, the ranch like, dressing like, tattoo. Yeah, like, you your ex. My ex? Yeah. You thought this was my ex's name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that much of a fool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my camel says hello. <laughs> I'm scared it's gonna bite me. I know this one's gonna bite my hand. Oh, that one hates you a yeah. lot. for like two seconds. Look how hard it's storming right now. Okay, you really can't see the rain. Okay, yeah, you kind of can. God is literally laughing at us right now. Holy shit. Here we are like freaking out because like we cannot get the lighting in this room to work at all for this picture. And then all the lights go out. All the power, all the lights. Like phenomenal. On our way to our last dinner, it's pouring still. Um, and we're all huddling under this umbrella. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Oh no. Oh, oh, this is me. God damn it. with subscribers somehow in the middle of East Bumfa Cam 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 Foon Cam Foon I've only had like seven mojitos why am I saying Cam Foon but now it's like one in the morning I like need chicken wings or I need some form of room service right now because we have to get up in like six hours I'm fucking sad damn we're about to leave it's hitting me this is actually over like Damn, that went by fucking fast. I'm gonna go cry and eat chicken wings. So what started it all for me <laughs> was in 2016. I did a Q&A, just a simple Q&A. Right I'm like, yes, take notes. Okay. And just some random girly on Twitter was like, thoughts on Pitbull. And at the time in 2016, I was like, oh my God, Pitbull, ha ha, he's a mean, quirky. If you yeah. like Pitbull, you're like quirky. And so I was like, oh my God, Pitbull, ha ha, he has a bald, shiny head. I went back to him. But then, Everything, Tommy, everything ever. Anthem, Bojangles. <laughs> my whole fucking shot. I was literally in my Q&A, like, reflecting me, like, wow, Pitbull is that guy. And there we have it. That is the end of my Mexico vlog, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to stop in and say one more time, thank you so much to Luxevo Vacations and Azul Beach Resort for sending us on this trip. They literally spoiled all of us. So rotten. That was actually the most insane thing 
ever I just could not believe that I finally went on like a brand trip like that was just one of my biggest dreams ever and I can't believe that you guys like got me there so I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that was just the craziest shit ever and I really hope you guys like this vlog I do wish that I could have had more content in this even though it was a half hour long but realistically I was sick half the trip again and if I wasn't sick and throwing up then someone else was so I did the best I could and that's what you got right now let me know what you thought down below please and please make sure to like comment and subscribe and once again i love you guys thank you for getting me to this point that was fucking like i'm just still not over it like i feel like it's not even gonna hit me until i actually upload this vlog that like this actually all happened but yeah i love you guys so much i love you sarah and gabriella thank you so much for an amazing time i will see you in my next video peace out i love you guys bye <laughs>